This is a guide to open metadata licensing. First, a note on copyright. An open licence does not override or remove copyright, but it is more liberal than traditional all rights reserved copyright statements. Authors retain the moral rights to their work which are comprised of attribution, the right to be recognised as the author of the work, integrity, the right for the author to object to derogatory treatment of the work, and intellectual property rights such as trademark and patents. For simplicity, we will distinguish three types of open licensing. Content licensing refers to a license applied to a textual work or other content, including publications and software. Data licensing refers to a license applied to data or datasets. And metadata licensing refers to a license applied to a descriptive or bibliographic record of a work or object. Open licensing of metadata is often implied or assumed rather than formally applied. Traditionally, libraries have shared bibliographic records freely and they are not seen as copyrighted. However, cataloguing agencies and library vendors do sometimes assert the copyright on records they provide. Substantive metadata, such as abstracts and subject indexing, may be especially seen as subject to copyright. So good practice is to license your own metadata in a way which makes reuse rights clear and to check the licensing on any records you reuse from elsewhere. The most widely used and understood open licenses are the six Creative Commons licenses. These are applied by the original author or copyright holder of a work or with their permission and they allow for varying degrees of reuse. The most liberal licence is the Creative Commons Attribution or CC BY licence. And at the other end of the scale, the most restrictive is the Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives licence. When selecting an open licence, you should consider how you want other people to be able to reuse your content or metadata. The most open of the open licences is Creative Commons Attribution. Other licences with restrictions on the type of reuse offer more protection of the work in its original form, but they may not meet the commonly agreed requirements for openness set by the international bodies, such as the open definition. It is important to choose the right licence from the start, because once assigned it is irrevocable. You can also waive the attribution requirement and use the Creative Commons Public Domain Dedication, or CC0, to mark your work as free from all copyright interests. This is well suited to metadata and bibliographic records and is the approach taken by institutions like the British National Bibliography for their linked data records. If you created a work or record, you can license it under Creative Commons yourself with no registration or fee. Simply choose a licence and clearly display it on your work or in your record. The Creative Commons website has full instructions, display conventions and icons to download. So how do you use someone else's content or records? If text, data or a bibliographic record does not have an explicit open licence, then it cannot be assumed to be available for reuse. This is true even if it is freely available to view online. You should ideally seek permission from the creator to reuse a record. To enable future reuse, suggest that the creator applies an open licence rather than granting a one-off permission. A good rule of thumb for the elements to include in an attribution is the acronym TASL, which stands for the Title, Author, Source, Licence. If you have created a derivative or modified work, this information must be included in the attribution. If a work or record has a public domain dedication, however, no attribution is required. Bibliographic metadata is commonly accepted as reusable without an explicit open licence, but open licences should be used where possible for maximum reusability and clarity. To learn more, you can download these IDS training slides on understanding open licensing from SlideShare. More information is available via these links.